Hello Hawks, today I'm here with Miss Harchie who is our house D and today she's going to be telling us a little bit about the day of faith and service. So how would you describe the day in general? Yeah, so a few years ago, probably like five years ago now, we decided that it would be neat to take a whole day um, and allow our students to have the opportunity to do service projects in their mentor groups but then also do some service learning throughout the day. So it's kind of evolved over the years and we have it organized. Um, into we start with mass because it's on november 1st which is a holy day of obligation um, for the catholic faith and so we celebrate mass together as a community um, the students will come in a little bit later so the students will arrive around 9 30 um, and then we start mass around 10 and then after mass it's kind of a three session rotation so as a mentor group you will do a service project um, you'll also watch a movie that'll kind of allow you to kind of look at um, maybe our faith in a different way and then this year we've added a house competition at the end of the day which is focused on saints as well because it's all saints day so we're doing kind of a little fun house competition um, at the end of the day again with your mentor group but whole all the houses competing against each other awesome yeah so previously i think students upperclassmen and teachers will remember that this day was previously called the day of prayer and service mm -hmm. so why is the name changed to faith this yeah day? so we kind of realized that um obviously we have six pillars and one of our pillars is faith and not prayer and so we're like oh we could tie it into our pillars make it a little bit more clear um, because prayer is obviously an aspect with mass but then we again as it evolved we kind of saw that there's different ways to embrace your faith and learn about your faith so that's kind of one of the aspects of the day as well to kind of see how your faith can be something that calls you to action so service is tied into it with the service projects but then also how our faith calls us to be more active um, in our communities and in our environment that we're in so shifting to then also we are hoping to do a day of preparation and community, which would be two other of our pillars later in the year um, if we're able to kind of get that coordinated. Um, we had plans for it, but then spring of 2020, it kind of got changed. Um, so we're hoping to kind of kind of keep that pillars connected in what we're doing with the house as well. How will we be grouped throughout the day? Yeah, so you guys as a mentor group are chosen, like you have been able to submit your top three choices of what service project you'll do. Um, and then this year in particular, because of some of our restrictions still, we're staying mostly with our mentor groups. So you'll do a movie with your mentor group, you'll do a service project. Some of them will be in their mentor groups, depending on what service project you're doing. Others of them will be either in the TAC or outside, depending on which project your group is signed up for. Um, and then the lunch, uh, it's kind of like balanced out so you'll be going to lunch with different people that you normally go to um, but we tried to kind of even it out um, it, over the a b and c sections and then at the end of the day the house competition will be with your mentor group again so this year it's a lot kind of with the mentor group um, rotating together perfect yeah and you mentioned how students would be coming later in the day what yes. time should they arrive to school yeah so we have a 9 30 start time for students so we want to be in our mentor groups by 9 30 um, and then we'll start with mass after that, after attendance and things. Yeah. And you said that was a dress down day as well? Yes, it's gonna be a dress down day that we're hoping that um, kids will wear their either house polos or a house shirt um, so they can kind of like identify themselves as their house throughout the day as well. And they will receive three hours of service. So because you're doing stuff that is service learning and service like direct service to the different um, organizations that we've signed up with, we allow you guys to have three hours of service if you're here during the day. Um, so that can help with your service turn-in for the first 10 hours that you need to have turned in. Yes, our first 10 hours for all students will be due on November 8th. Thank you so much for coming yeah, in, sharing. Thanks for having me. We're really excited. Looking yeah. forward to it. Looking forward to it.